What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys one of the strongest restricted Pokemon for Regulation G, which is Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, Shadow Rider Calyrex was introduced in the final DLC of Sword and Shield, and let me tell you guys, this Pokemon was broken in ranked battles. Now, I don't really see any change in Scarlet and Violet, so I think this Pokemon is going to be just as broken as it was in Sword and Shield, if not better. This Pokemon has an amazing ability called S1, which actually gives it unnerved so nobody can eat berries on the field. And furthermore, it gets Grim Nay, which every time it picks up a KO, it's going to get a plus one boost in special attack. Pair that up with its amazing speed stat, amazing special attack stat. Every time you get a kill, this thing just gets ready to sweep. It's got access to two amazing moves for spam. You got Astral Barrage, with the, which is its signature move, and it is a double hitting big time damage ghost move. And on top of that, it's got Expanded Force. We're pairing it up with a DD day, and you guys know the deal with expanding force in that psychic terrain. It's big time damage. Furthermore, this Calyrex is rocket clear amulet to keep its stats. It's got Terror Blast with the Fairy Terror type. And last but not least, it does have Protect. So our plan here today is just to get some speed, have Calyrex pop into battle, use Astral Barrage, expanding force, and win the match. Seems pretty easy, right? We love it. But other Pokemon on today's team, like I mentioned, we have Indeedee, we got Tornadus for speed control, but we also have Chiyu. Pair up Calyrex with Chiyu, it's going to do even more damage. So again, this thing is going to be broken. I'm letting you guys know now, this Pokemon is phenomenal. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Okidoki, a good little coverage Pokemon that can get work done in the back end. And last but not least, we do have the Iron Bundle. Very fast, hits hard, can't go wrong with it. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Shadow Rider Calyrex. Now, the team that we are using today was sent to me over on Twitter. The person who did send it to me informed me that they got this team from the Poke Sports Discord community. So, huge shout out to Poke Sports and their community. I will be linking Poke Sports channel down in the description below, alongside with the Poke Pace to this team. So, if you guys want to check it out more in depth, be my guest. But we're going up against a Metagross team alongside with is that explosion golem that's looking a little scary that is definitely looking a little scary but the good thing about calyrex is is it can bypass explosion but not from golem because it has an ability i forget what it's called that makes it electric that's looking that again that's looking scary but from here i think maybe just like chiyu calyrex would be a perfect lead we kind of outspeed most and we can get off some big damage at the same time so that's something i like okie dogie in the back end as well and last but not least we can go into iron bundle so this is actually a really nice lead for us we got speed calyrex can hit hard next to chiyu and if i can pick up one ko they're just gonna start stacking that special attack boost and we can really start thriving from there one thing that i didn't really check was first turn priority moves and the only pokemon that i believe they have is metagross with the bullet punch now that could be a little fatal for us considering we do have a fairy terror type but i think we should be fine so we're going to end up going Golem and Telepathy right here. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to double down into this Golem. Telepathy, Gardevoir, this just screams explosion, right? This screams explosion. Absolutely screams it. Absolutely just screams it. He's going to float with Air Balloon here, which is totally fine. But I think just going into a Heat Wave here. Actually, let's play it safe and just go for a Dark Pulse into the slot. And then just throw an Astro Barrage across the field. I think that's fair for us to do. The, the, the team just screams explosion on Golem. <laughs> right? Telepathy next to Gardevoir. Just so it can't get hit by explosion damage. I think we're cool with this. Calyrex coming out here for the lead. And all the best players, all the pro players, all people who make content on Pokemon are saying that Shadow Rider Calyrex is going to be one of the best for Regulation G. So I'm here to showcase it. Let's see how it does. It's definitely going to be broken. This thing's stats are absurd. It's so good. It is so good. This Pokemon's amazing. So let's just see what they end up doing here. Because I think they're in like a, a terrible situation where they're going to either have to swap or take this hit. I guess we'll find out here. I mean, Gardevoir could have Shadow Ball on it, but I think my Calyx should be able to eat up a Shadow Ball. We do have Clear Amulet on it, which is not bad. And it's just going to end up withdrawing Gardevoir. So Gardevoir is going to get the withdrawal here. They're going to end up going into Empoleon. And Astrobosh is going to fly. So Astrobosh is going to rip up damage into the Golem. Air Balloon is going to pop. Chiyu should outspeed Golem all day, which it does. We can say bye-bye to that. And not even have to worry about anything exploding. So we're chucking up some big-time damage with Calyrex. I wish I would have picked up a KO with Calyrex, because at that point, we would have went plus one. 
But now Empoleon is sitting here on the field. And they're going to throw out Sinisha, which I don't mind. He's kind of forced to terror, right? Sinisha's kind of forced to terror. It's in a terrible position where it's weak to two different moves. And I'm just going to Dark Pulse over into Empoleon. I'm just going to stick with an Astro Barrage here. Cool. So Sinisha's going to end up protecting. And we're going to say bye-bye to Empoleon. <laughs> okay, so these two are just thriving out here. These two are just thriving out here. Chi Yu next to Shadow Rider Calibre. So Astro Barrage going to fly. Bring this thing down to like low yellow. Actually like mid yellow. I think it has the Assault Vest on. And then Dark Pulse is going to end up finishing it off. Beautiful. Killing it. Killing it. Now they're forced to throw out Gardevoir. And this is where the game absolutely comes to wraps, right? Two Pokemon that are weak to Astro Barrage. Astro Barrage should be able to one-shot it up. No problem. And GG's. We're going to throw this into Gardevoir slot. But Astro Barrage here. Are they going to cancel battle? I hope not. I kind of want to land this Astro Barrage here. And just do some big-time damage. But first match going to be super easy for us on the casual ladder. They end up just canceling it. Let's go hop into our second match. Use Calyrex a little bit more. Let's keep thriving out here, ladies and gentlemen. Going up against a Mewtwo team here in match number two. We're going to have some competition. Cannot wait to go up against this thing. They also have Wimscott. They got Fluttermane, Chiyu, just like us. And then they got Terrakion to pair up with Wimscott. And then they got Ndidi as well. So expanding force Mewtwo. Definitely what they're looking at. I think Calyrex is going to be great here. And I don't know if I want to lead it, though. Don't want to lead it. I could go maybe like Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle Calyrex not bad here. Hmm. Iron B Calyrex or Tornado's Calyrex? Because Tailwind could be our friend. But I think I'd rather just go Iron Bundle Calyrex. I think it's a solid lead for us. So I'm going to go into both of them if they want to set terrain. They can set terrain. I will bring Chi in the back end alongside with Okie Dogie. Even though Okie Dogie is weak to these Psychic type Pokemon. I think a big time Terra could help us out tremendously. So that is going to be the squad here. We're going full offense here. Very high special attack and with Calyrex, Iron Bundle, and Chiyu. And then Okie Dokie to back in with the AV, the Assault Vest. Should be thriving. Looking for back to back wins here. That first match, that one was too easy. That one was too easy. Once I seen the Golem and Gardevoir come out there, I was like, this one's over. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Start Ash Barraging, drop the Dark Pulses, and then they just cancel the battle. So a quick first match. Hopefully we can have a longer battle here for you guys. And uh, look to actually try to stack some special attack boosts with Calyrex. Because again, once you start stack stacking special attack boosts, it's, it's over. It's over. But they're going to go Mewtwo and Whimsicott. So Mewtwo and Whimsicott fly out here. Um, Iron Bundle for my squad. I'm forced to kind of go into an Icy Wind here, which I don't mind. Uh, I could Terrasilize. I could definitely terrestrialize my my Calyrex here, which wouldn't be a bad play. It would not be a bad play. Because I'm thinking that Mewtwo might be Rocket Shadow. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Might be Rocket Shadow Ball and Astro Flash can hit hard. I think I think we can do this. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Icy Wind into an Astro Flash. If they don't terrestrialize Mewtwo, we can pretty much say bye bye to it. And then we can start thriving out with some ice seasons. So out comes the Terra for our Pokemon just for safety purposes. Need a little bit of safety purposes on this Pokemon. Because again, it is kind of a lightweight when it comes to taking hits. But they're going to end up not terrestrializing you two. This could be a big time double KO for us. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball. So good read on our end. I knew Mewtwo learned Shadow Ball. So Shadow Ball, we're going to be able to soak. Icy Wind going to fly. Bop, a little bit of damage, and this should be a double KO, stacking our boosts up. This should stack us. We should be plus two with this Pokemon now. Astro Barrage flying. Bye-bye, both y'all. Get on out of here. Going. Now this thing's plus two. Every KO you get, it stacks. Okay, so now from here, they have Tailwind up, which is a little bit of a bummer for us, because I would love to have Tailwind out here for us, but I think they see Calyrex as a threat. So if I can get off like an Icy Wind or two with Iron Bundle, oh baby, oh baby. We can we can finish this one up nicely. The Chiyu comes out here. I don't want Focus Sash, which kind of stinks. No Sash on the Iron B. No Sash on the Iron B, which is a little rough for us. Um, I'm still going to go for Icy Wind. And I am just going to hit this Protect button on you. And we'll see how they want to play this one. So Protect the Calyrex. Need an Icy Wind. Need to pop an Icy Wind. And she's gonna go for a heat wave. Can you dodge this iron B? Might be a heat wave rock slide, which could be a little bit of a problem. Can you soak this at least? That hurts, man. 
That hurts. Now speed is all theirs. Now speed is all theirs. I could go into Oki Dogi here. Um, I could go into Chiyu. Chiyu's not really going to do much. Snarl could be nice, but I think going into like, Oki Dogi could be our play. Could be our play. This is scary. We, may, we maybe need dodge and attack. I should have brought Tornadus in the back end. I really should have. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Two, maybe? Two turns left in Tailwind. Okie dokie, we're gonna have to go for a Dream Punch to Chiyu, because you can probably KO Chiyu. If I can land this Expanding Force, or even a Terra Blast, they both do the same amount of damage here. They're both gonna KO, let's, let's be honest here. I'm just gonna go for an Expanding Force into this slot. And then he's gonna go for a Heat Wave, which Calyrex dies out to a crit on my Calyrex. You should've just gave us a chance. All I wanted was a chance. The crit's my Calyrex. Doki Doki can survive this turn. We have a hot shot over this match. Rock Slide's gonna fly here. And we dodge it? No, it's gonna land. Can you eat this? You do. Not very effective. No flinches. Drain Punch flies. KOs? Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna win this match, no problem. We're gonna win this match, no problem. Cool. So another quick match coming at you guys. Big time Okie Doki play. Assault Vest helping us out tremendously. And I just wish we probably should have, instead of like Okie Doki, we should have brought Tornadus for late game. Because if that was the case, we could have just, instead of, or once Iron Bundle died after the Protect, we could have just gotten out uh, Tornadus, and then pop the Tailwind, and then have Astro Barrage just fully just dump on these guys. But still, going crazy. Calyrex Shadow Rider, insane. And now we bring out this guy. Um, I think from here we just go for another Drain Punch, and if we can, I mean, Overheat would probably be our best bet. <laughs> Maybe we should have went for Dark Pulse. We'll see, but they're gonna Terrasalize, so Overheat actually might be perfect for this. It might be perfect. Let's see what Terror type they're gonna go into. They're gonna go into Grass. Oh my lord, what are you doing? Chiyu's on the field! Chiyu's on the field. <laughs> Chiyu's on the field and you're going Grass Terra? Unbelievable. Maybe that was help him out with the Drain Punch. But no flinch is allowed, right? Oh my lord, one flinch down the Drain. Drain Punch gonna fly here. Still doing half damage, which is absurd. Okie dokie's the man. Okie dokie's the man. It's a big time damage coming out from there. Tailwind is finally gone. We can just mash A and this one's wrap it up. We get some speed here. Battle was finally canceled. There it is. We are 2-0. Let's go use Shadow Rider Calyrex one more time in match number three. Moving on to our final match and we're going up against another restricted Pokemon. Absolutely love seeing it. Lugia. Lugia here in match number three. They also have weather control with... Ninetales. So Ninetales looking a little scary here. Um, we don't have weather control with our team, but I think Chi Yu and Flutter, or not Flutter, I mean Chi Yu and Calyrex can pretty much do work on a lot of these Pokemon. So this is something I want to lead. Chi Yu Calyrex. We want to do it again. I love it. I love it. They could go into Incineroar. Intimidate won't affect us. We can still do big time damage. We like that a lot. Um, a Pokemon that they do have, which could be scary, is going to be Urshifu, especially for first turn priority. So if that's the case, we are just going to go into Indeedee and maybe just hard swap it out. And then our final Pokemon could be Okie Doki again. I don't mind Okie Doki. It's either Okie Doki or Iron Bundle. I think Okie Doki is going to be great. So I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to bring it in here, but looking for another sweep on the casual ladder with Calyrex this time. Calyrex has been insane. Just poses such a big threat. Big time damage. Looking to kind of do it again here. But that last match, yeah, that, that Mewtwo stood no chance. Once that Astro Barrage went through, bang, it was gone. Double KO. If we had speed control, it would have been an easy, clean sweep. But they end up going into Lugia and Ninetales here. Which is good for us. We, we don't mind this lead. We don't mind this. I mean, Heat Wave's going to be our friend. Astro Barrage going to be our friend. Lugia is flying and psychic, which is good for us. Ghost Move going to absolutely rip up into it. But from here, Heat Wave, yeah, I mean, we have to Heat Wave. I could actually Snarl instead. But I think Heat Wave is just a bit bit of a better player. Heat Wave, Astro Barrage. Come on, we gotta do it. <laughs> we gotta do it. Astro Barrage flying. Is Lugia gone this? I know Lugia's bulky. Let's be honest here. Yeah, look how bulky Lugia is. Oh my lord, are you policy? Yeah, yo, Lugia's real deal. He's policy. Lugia's not playing around. It's so bulky. Absurdly bulky. Aurora Bell, you're out speeding. Oh no. Oh no, we have a little problem on our hands. Slight issue on our hands. Heat wave gonna fly here. Who's who's dodging it? Nine tails dodged. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. And this thing. 
Oh no. Oh no, bro. Oh no. You guys ever see Rango Show? That's one of my favorite shows ever. Muscle Man, when something goes wrong, he's like, oh no, bro. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Oh no, bro. <laughs> okay, so let's be honest. Lugia is pretty bulked up here. Lugia is looking nasty. It's looking nasty. But another Heat Wave and Astral Barrage can get some work done here. I could honestly just protect you. Could terrestrialize you as well. You know what? No, we're just gonna. We're gonna look to get rid of Ninetales. We're gonna look to get rid of Ninetales. So he's gonna end up terrestrializing. It's gonna be Lugia. It's gotta be. It's so bulky, man. I hit that thing with, uh, oh, this is actually a perfect type. Oh no, bro. Oh no. I mean, I do have, did I bring Iron Bundle? I think I brought Lugia instead. Astro Barrage is still gonna pick up the KO on the Ninetales, which is great. It's beautiful. We are gonna go plus one, which is huge. So if, if, I doubt it though, if Calyrex can survive a shot here. Unless you're going after Chiyu, I would like, I would rather you go after Chiyu here. Heatwave's still gonna fly, it's not speeding. Give me burn, some. Recover, okay, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that, cause now I'm sitting plus one. Um, oh wow, that's a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP, um. They're gonna send out their next Pokemon, which is gonna be, mm, it's gonna be Confi. Confi's a little bit of a threat here. We have to kinda get rid of Confi. Um, I could Terrasize, I think just going straight Astro Barrage is still the play. But yeah, Confi can do a lot with like floral healing and stuff, so I think we just keep doubling down and we keep attacking. I think it's simple. I think Lugia's massive threat is just gonna stay on the field for a little bit, so... I think we just start tackling down this right side. Lugia coming out here. Astro Barrage flying here. Plus one! Plus one. I know they have a Roar Bell up, which is a little sad, but still doing big time damage on the Confi. Heat Wave should finish off the Confi. It does. Can we get a burn on the Lugia? Look, at my, look how much that thing just soaked there. Is he going for another Calm Line? I feel like he is. Nope. Arrow Blast. Bye bye, Calyrex. I survive! I survived! We love it. They throw out their final Pokemon, which is the -da -da, Gouging Fire. The Gouging Fire comes out here. I could see a Burning Boar also fly here. So I might just wanna. I could protect and bring out Indeedee. Not a bad play. For a little helping hand action. Huh. I kind of forget what Lugia's ability is too. I kind of want to swap to use choice move here. I'm just going to protect Calyrex here. I could see a Burning Bulwark and I'm trying to finish off the Calyrex. Definitely an option. Definitely an option. So I'm going to swap into Indeedee. Give a little bit of support action. Lugia's just scaring me. I wish I brought the Iron Bundle. Let's be honest. I still have Terror though. I'm going to protect Calyrex. Fingers crossed for Burning Bulwark. Burning Bulwark? Yes. Okay. Cool. It ends up protecting that Pokemon. Lugia is definitely going after Calyrex, which is solid. Um, yeah, I think our best bet... Oh, you could have Breaking Swipe. I was going to say... Oh, wait a minute. That might be a great turn for us to just go follow me. Terra Fairy. And start Astro Barraging. Or actually, Expanding Force will actually do more damage here. Double damage. Expanding Force is going to be your play. And the reason I want to Terrasalize here... Is because the only double hitting move I believe out on this field would be breaking swipe. And if I terrestrialize fairy, dragon moves won't affect me. So in this case, I can then go for follow me, soak up some shots with Indeedee, and then allow my Calyrex to actually get some more work done. Even though we're back in Pokemon, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about it. I wish we had Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle would be great with Freeze Dry here. But follow me, gonna fly here. This Lugia is massively bulked right now. Expanded Force gonna fly here. And are we KOing? We are not. Breaking Swipe? Fire Blitz instead. The Fire Blitz flies and DD soaks, correct? And Lugia's gonna go for an Arrow Blast, which you died to. Okay. So, that was just a safety precaution with, the, with that move right there. Um, we could end up protecting. The snow is going to stop. Um, I 
I'm gonna have to go into you. Now, do we read another burning bulwark? Do we read another burning bulwark? We might have to. I'm definitely going into Snarl here. And I'm just gonna protect. Oh, man. It's getting out of hand. How many turns are left in terrain and all that? Or not terrain. Aurora Veil. She got cooking. Three. Three turns left in Aurora Veil. I'm just gonna protect you. Could be going for another burning bulwark. You could be going for another burning bulwark. You could. I maybe should have just expanded force reading them not doing it this time, but I'm gonna say that they do. I'm gonna say that they do do it. So I'm gonna just simply protect the Calyrex again. Show me another burning bulwark. Show it to me. I got you. I got you, Calyrex. I got you. So Snarl's gonna start dropping this thing's special attack, which is good. Massive. This thing is now minus two. Or plus two, I should say. So show me your after Cadillacs, please. You're gonna recover. Okay. I don't mind that. Because now I can start spamming expanding forces um, and start spamming Snarl at the same time. So Snarl coming out here. Expanding force flying. Let's send it. Alright, cool. Hopefully they don't try to go for a double burning bulwark. Could be a little scary. So now I was gonna bring it down to minus one, which is great. Expanding force flying. Bop bye bye to you. We get another plus one on special attack, and this is just a solid matchup. If I'm gonna lose to anybody, I don't mind losing to this Lugia here. But Snarl's gonna fly. You're only plus one now. You're only plus one. And honestly, Chiyu can pretty much, I think, just help us help us win this match here. But Calyrex thriving out in match number three, killing it. If it wasn't for this god dang Lugia, this thing would have swept this match no problem. But I love seeing a Pokemon like that. Now we bring out Okie Doki. And this is this is the Pokemon where if we had Iron Bundle, we would be absolutely thriving. We do have Assault Vest, which is gorgeous, and I am I am choosing the Snarl here, which is sad. But we're just gonna keep going here, and we're gonna go Drain Punch. And I'm hoping Okie Dogie can outspeed Oogie as well. But we play this one actually really well, protecting at the right time, predicting the Bulwarks, all that good stuff, and swapping Chiyu out here and getting it back in here to Snarl, because this Snarl is massive. The Lugia is just gonna simply recover, which I don't mind because once this War Veil wears off. Our damage is going to go through the roof. Green Punch going to fly here. Nice. Damage, damage, damage. And there's your War Bell. See you later. It wore, it wore off. That was three turns already? That's absurd. So, continuing with the Snarl. We could go Poison Jab, maybe look for a Poison. Which, honestly, is probably our best bet. So, now Lugia is minus one, and we get a crit. That, that, that wrap it up. Get on Addy. Get on Addy here. Tom Mine going to boost. It's over. It's too late. It's too late. I got my Okie Dokie physical attacking. Probably KOs you here with this with this poison jab, right? Okie Dokie for the win. Let's go. So Lugia being a little bit of a problem. Super, super bulky, but not enough for this Calyrex team. We get another 3-0 perfect record. Shadow Rider Calyrex getting it done today. This Pokemon is phenomenal and it's going to be a huge special attacking threat when rank comes out for Regulation G. As you guys seen, it can pair up with Ndidi, be an expanding force user. On top of that, it has access to its base 120 stab double hitting move Astro Barrage, which is absurd. It's definitely absurd. Plus on top of that, its ability gives it a plus one special attack boost every time it picks up a KO. So it just turns into a sweeper with that snowball effect with its ability but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody